G'day, I'm Tom Ellis from Mount Gambia, South Australia, and uh, the property you're currently on today is Cooler Station. I'm the fifth generation to come home and uh, obviously occupy the place with, along with my father at the moment. I've been here since uh, 1978. It's an old family property. Uh, our forebears came here in the mid-1800s. It was an ex extensive uh, run. It's obviously not the size that it was back then. And uh, we've had Proway in uh, designing uh, some stockyards for us, sheep yards. Originally they did some cattle yards for us some years ago. We're very happy with those. And uh, I handed over the management of the place to uh, Tom some five, six years ago. He elected to uh, put in a set of sheep yards and uh, this is the result what you're seeing today. Since the Proway yards have been put in, everything seems to flow evenly instead of actually fighting them all day by running into corners and obviously having sort of smooth edges to allow the stock to flow makes a huge amount of difference for us. One and a halves onwards, we'd like to lamb down around that 10,000 and then lamb down between sort of two and two and a half thousand new lambs with about a thousand new lambs sort of dry running through so it sort of gives us an overall of about 14,000 ewes collectively. Uh, the reason for going forward for the Pro Way yards was I think uh, older yards were sort of in sort of a bit of a rack and ruin and there was a, we are either at that crossroads where we actually do a fair bit of work to the yards, existing yards which were there, or take a step back and redesign it and sort of make it more labour efficient and try and get a few of our efficiencies up on handling stock. We've presently got uh, eight shearers running and then off the board we're just basically going through just checking the soundness of their feet, legs and udders and then obviously we're giving them a back line at the same time and then taking any cull sheep out at present. Uh, I think with the eight they're sort of shearing about 1700 to sort of 1700 to 1750 a day at the moment so it's definitely keeping us busy both ends. We've had to re redesign the yards around what the old yards were and then um, utilise it to sort of make it as user friendly as possible. Uh, we, we were a bit apprehensive first up putting such a big bath in but um, yeah I think uh, looking back I think it's been yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic for us. Like there's definitely your leaders in the group so once you train an animal to walk through something and then they become familiar with it it's amazing there's very little pressure needed, they sort of find their own way through it and it's a point of exit so once they know obviously there's an entry and there's an exit point and they feel comfortable with it, they seem to flow quite well. A huge amount of flexibility on the diamond yards, especially if you've got two or three different mobs like shorn to um, unshorn sheep in the same yard, you can obviously access two points from one yard which gives you that flexibility and our sheep float exceptionally well into the diamond yard and they're always looking for that exit out. So it, yeah, it suits us very well. It uh, eliminates a lot of lifting of sheep and forcing because the, with the four-way gates, it is actually another system of drafting. It takes the physical work out of handling big sheep, or heavy sheep, I should say. The numbers you put through it are so much greater because it's so much easier, then I don't think you, you don't maybe drop a labour unit, but you you do probably twice as much work in half the amount of time, but so, yeah, it's funny, it's, it makes it that much easier on blokes that you can actually put so many more stock through in the same amount of time. Yeah, I wouldn't put, oh, we wouldn't put a set of yards up by the cattle or sheep without a roof over now. It just makes it so much easier that you don't have to worry about what the weather's doing outside, you still do what you set there to do. So the shed's been a huge asset to us. Yeah, I, think it's, I think it's also looking after your men. You know, it's, uh, if the, the better the, uh, the comfort factor, the better the job will be done. Everyone seems to be a lot happier. And not only for rain, for sun also. Animal uh, welfare is uh, probably the leading factor that's uh, made us uh, upgrade all our facilities. The spin-off for that is it's uh, labour efficiencies for us. It's, it's better for the men. Uh, I suppose the reason for selecting ProWay, ProWay have been in the industry for for a long, long time, and uh, they seem to be, in my opinion, the uh, the uh, the leaders in a lot of the new technologies. And uh, 
I like the design, I like the materials, and uh, I found they're a very good company to work with.